Marvel, Bendis. What the hell, guys? Read. Let's see what the fuck, guys. Read. <sighs> hey guys, me on Travis Bowie, and um, my original plan was going to review this book, but due to Civil War 2 bullshit, I'm going to do my grand and not, well, not grand, more like critique of this train wreck. So en enjoy my critique or review in a nutshell. Okay, as you, as you already know, at the, at the front of my intro, you can tell me what happened about this event. Why? Because this entire event has been. Say with me, everyone. Completely I mean, pointless. What was the point of this entire event? Oh, I know what the point of the event. I know what the point of the event was. Anyway. This event, what, what it, it's made to sell out of books. Wow! Congratulations, Bridget Marvel. I have never seen it before. Oh wait, yes I have. During Age of Ultron, not the movie, the actual comic. But she just. Congrats. Let's get, let's get the train over, shall we? Um, as you well know, by issue A, Tony Stark is quoted and dead. Oh wait, it turns out he's not dead. He's somehow in a coma. It's so stupid. Oh, it gets even worse. What's that? How did it get getting worse? You wish someone had a vision of all these. Future timeline crap. Like, there's a monster unleashed, which is bullshit. They show another point cross over with Ultron showing up. I don't know, it's weird. And then you have the Inhuman the X Men event they showed. Again, I don't give a damn. Captain Hydra crap. Uh. I don't know, don't know about this one with aliens, like from, from War of the Worlds. What? That's just weird and stupid. And then you have four, I think. I know, it's confusing. Like, it's really, 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 really stupid. Oh, we have four show up. And then near the, near the end of the entire point of event, we have basically... Like, oh, like something so. But you should be disappears and you go to do the attorney. Wow, that, that was a very, very pointless. Oh, by the way, also, also near the end of it, Tony Stark is in a coma somehow. And then he tried to prevent it. It's so stupid and contrived. Oh, here's another point. Hey, you know what point thing that happens in, in, in the end? Stats quo chain that go nowhere. Like, this entire thing was completely like pointless because nothing changed. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck that is really Like, ugh. Okay. Now, are they a party to this train wreck? Uh,. I'll give it there, the artwork looks pretty. Like, I don't know who does the artwork, but, um, this event is pretty to look at. But other than that, there's really nothing to talk about, but this entire event was pointless. It was one of the worst events I ever read. It was boring, it was going nowhere, and plus, it made no sense. Not all the characters act like idiots. Kill, but he kills Tony Stark for some strange reason. It was stupid, and that's about it. Like it's pretty to look at, but the lighting is awful. Like this is my worst event Benny ever wrote. Like this was a cash grab, plain and simple, and mom and a surprise. Like, like, see. I'm I'm ready to get out of for words. <sighs> Point is, this entire event was garbage, and it was a big shot in the face to Iron Man fans, which I know, I know, I know, I know a lot of people are think who are Iron Man fans right now, which I don't blame them. I'm with with them on that one. Um, I I can say a lot of people are pissed off about Tony Stark's death and, and 
pretty much, but um, other than that, what has happened in this entire event? You always just go bye bye, which is stupid and weird, and just what? And that's it. All right, all the aftermath stuff is garbage, and just it's just pointless. I'm done. Like, anyways, I, I'll I'll, I'll get my my thoughts and that's all right. My pop my final fight on this point finale. Bendis, leave Marvel because you you're making Marvel sucking right now, and your books are sucking. Fix your books. Stop writing more books just for one book. <sighs> and to Marvel. F you, this event sucked. This event was horrible and put a waste of time and one of the worst events I ever read. Eight issues of bullshit. Eight issues of crap. Why would you do it? I don't know. <sighs> Apparently we're getting an aftermath after the other book called Civil War the Earth. One, I don't care about Civil War two. Two, the way we we I'm going to join in the anti to spread the word. Three! I don't give a damn about, about these point events, Marvel. No one gives a damn about these events. No more crossover events. Can we put out a story that just go forwards and backwards? Oh, wait. Who am I kidding? They're never going to do that because Marvel just care about all the money. To change to change. Oh, fuck. Anyways. Final thoughts on Civil War 2, issue number 8, and, and Civil War 2 as a whole. This event sucked, don't buy it, waste your time, and if you want to read it, go right ahead. I won't stop you, but it's not worth reading, trust me, on this one. I, I probably should have said a spoiler right before I did it, but you know what, too, anyway. Well, anyways, um, that's my part of the Civil War 2 finale. Um, spoiler filled, it would be good. I couldn't go spoiler free in this one. Um, Please comment, comment down below and tell you anything about this point event before I get to it. Also, I can feedback follow me on Twitter and please just comment down. And the Bendis, screw you. See ya.